Hey YouTubers, what's going on? I'm going to do a quick video, a how-to video. Just bought a brand new house and it did not, all the cabinets did not come with hardware. Could have paid a lot extra, but uh, I ended up buying these on Amazon. And I, for a pack of 50, it was $90. So I bought two packs of 50 for around 180 bucks. Uh, just wanted to show you all this quick template that I found at uh, Home Depot. I never knew they were aware of them until my dad. He did this not too long ago and he told me about it. So got this template. You just find the center of your drawer. So these are actually 27 inches long. So I went to 13.5. And put a little mark I put some tape you can see my tape I put my tape on there find that 13.5 and put a little mark right there then pick this fancy thing up and line that hole somewhere you just look for your mark back that 13.5 pencil mark that you made on the tape you line it up in the center with these holes then depending on your hardware, how wide they are, you find those two, on, in this case it was these two holes. So I drew a little circle with my pencil uh, and I'm using a little, you know, a little mechanical pencil with that super fine pencil lead and it makes it really easy. Uh, yeah, it looks good. This is it before with nothing on it. Just a few minutes later. One thing, you only get one shot at this. Uh, so make sure you measure two, three, four times. If you're uh, anything like I am, I tell you to measure twice and cut once. But they're, you know, they're not perfect. Some of these drawers could be off a little bit. But that threw my leveling stick in there, and they're all pretty, pretty good. So, uh, That one's off, but I bet you the door might be a little off. Yeah, so the door is off a little bit. So, yeah, so I messed that one up. I'm doing these in the closet first, just so I can kind of learn from my mistakes. But first, you lay the tape down, then you're going to measure, as you can see. This cabinet is right at 27 inches. So I'm gonna find 13.5. And I'm gonna put a pencil mark there. So got my pencil mark there at 13.5. I'm going to drop this template down. And you can see my pencil mark in there. I'm gonna just get it and try to line it up with those holes just somewhere right there that looks good to me so then I'll go with my pencil and draw a hole there and draw the hole there because that's the size of my hardware now I got my holes drawn so I'm going to take my drill bit this specific hardware calls for 3 sixteenths of a drill bit you can see here Luckily I got power in my closet, that's nice, but it's not going to reach, I'm going to have to get an extension cord. Alright so guys, figure out a system that works for you. I got it down where I put all the tape, do all my markings, and then I come behind with the drill. Just do it all in one, one motion instead of having to pick up the tape measure, pick up template pick up the pencil pick up the drill each time I just do a few drawers at a time all right got my holes drilled then I come along peel the tape off the holes are perfectly perfectly done then you just take the hardware and 
start screwing them all in. Guys, I almost forgot to tell you, along with this template comes with another template for your doors. So I'll show you. See like on these cabinet doors. Let's get that thing to flush. Figure out where where your uh, door handles go. It's as easy as that. You do the same thing. Uh, you don't even have to measure the center of this thing. Here's fine. That fits. Thanks for watching.